Hi, I'm Clint with Brace Tool, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble a hydraulic stuffing box. We'll grab our piston. I've already installed my O ring. We'll install our upper packing gland into the piston. Threads in here. And once it bottoms out, we'll just take a wrench and snug it up. Uh, because it's brass and bronze, you don't need to over torque it. That's coming up there. A little grease on the o-ring. Grab our housing, install the piston into the housing. You have to align the piston with the housing, so turn it facing you so you can see the top of the piston inside there, and then just press it into place. Once it's aligned, everything's nice and straight. It should drop right in. Then we can install our packing nut. Packing nuts, a manual way to uh, press your upper packing gland into your packing uh, prior to having to use hydraulic pressure. Well, that's installed now. We'll take our body, turn it on its side. We'll take our lower packing gland and we'll slide it in using an extension and a socket on its side because it's easier to get in there, it doesn't fall out of your socket. Thread that in until it bottoms out. Once the thread starts, you stand on the end. Take your ratchet, snug that up. It's brass as well, so you don't need to over torque it. Install our o-ring onto the bottom of the union. Install our nut onto the body. We take our stuffing box packing. This one takes six pieces. So we we'll grease up the stuffing box packing. And we'll install them into the body. Using lots of grease on this because it makes them easier to come out later as well. Easy to go in, easy to come out. Oops. And if you want to, you can use a piece of brass and push them down a little farther to get the, everything started. So you don't have to push it all six pieces at once. And you bottom up because there's a bit of friction there. Once you've got all six pieces installed, you can then take your body over to your to my assembly area. Grab these pieces. We can actually install the piston and the spring or piston housing with the spring installed on top because everything will fit. Just align that way. At this point you can tighten up your housing to your body using a, a wrench. Don't over torque it. If you have your packing nut down too far, your piston is going to make contact with the packing so it won't thread down all the way. So you want to make sure that your piston nut is always loose, or your packing nut, sorry. Then we'll install our upper or lower um, thrust bearings. Sorry. And one side of the thrust bearing is always tighter than the other, so you'll have to make sure that you. You, uh, align it properly to get it to start on. And we'll take our stuffing box staff, set it on the top of the first thrust bearing in the body, install our second thrust bearing, align it all, take our retainer nut, holds everything together, thread that down. Around 
bit so everything gets aligned properly. Turn her down right until she's tight. You don't need to over torque this, just snug it up. Um, then on the, uh, the back side here, uh, there's a retainer screw hole. And I like to put a piece of 3 16 inch brass in the hole between the set screw and the uh, and the threads on the on the body. Um, when you tighten the set screw in this way, it doesn't damage the threads. So set screw it in. Tighten the set screw against the brass. The brass will press into the threads of the body, and then your retainer nut can't back off. Uh, now you're ready to install your uh, hydraulic fitting of your choice to match up to your hydraulic back off hose. Install your line and you're ready to uh, use the stuffing box. Thank you.